much for doing this interview. Uh, man, I got to tell you something. Your group, I love the sound of you guys. You guys actually remind me more of like a, a, a late 80s, early 90s kind of band that's all about summer and fun and like so many other great that 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 how do i put this you know if fun had a sound it would be you guys that's probably <laughs> the best way to do it you got an infectious sound and vibe and everything else man where the hell does that all come from oh man uh that is a big question just because i think um when we all kind of came together we all we all came from a, a variety of different musical backgrounds right and um, specifically mac the lead guitarist you know me and him write all the songs together and uh, you know he's he's a classic rock guy and i'm more of like a, a hip-hop r&b type of person and you know we both love things weird things like classical and jazz and psychedelia and i think all of that kind of comes together in our songwriting process and it can be a little messy sometimes it can be a little bit all over the place when we're just getting weird with it and throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks but i think the end result is something that we're really proud of and i think is really unique and um really fun that's, that's really the word fun. man that's the word fun and that's i think what we're going to be doing throughout this interview too man like i said you guys have a really cool vibe forget just about the music stuff you guys just seem like you are all about fun is that the way you guys are when you're together when you're writing you're recording i mean what's the vibe like with you guys yeah man i mean we're all just trying to have a good time out here right like uh, i do think there are moments when uh we're really like okay guys like let's it's, it's business time right now like we gotta we gotta you know lock it in but generally like you know like it's something we love doing and you know when we when we play live i think that energy is infectious and um i i just if you're not having fun what are you doing right there you go exactly how did you guys get together how did it all come together okay so it started with um mac and i mac riddell uh, we were kind of in the, in the same circle of friends uh, that had gotten together uh, in high school. And we didn't really know each other too well, like one-on-one, -on -one, but, you know, he knew I sang, I knew he played guitar and we kind of like one day we were just like, Hey, like, let's get together. Like, let's do something. Right. Mm -hmm. And he had these ideas and I had ideas and it, it, it was one of those moments where it just clicked. Right. It just, it came together so well and we were just we found the songwriting process between the two of us really easy uh, just in that you know i was good at coming up with melodies and he was all about the guitar and and uh, write all the missing pieces from each of us and then his brother is the drummer his brother sam mm -hmm. and then we had kind of we had we had cycled through a couple bassists i think uh there was a couple growing pains there, but we mm -hmm. found our guy in, uh, in Avery, Avery Shoesmith. And what a guy, just like, you know, the, it's just such the right personality because he's, he's not me because I know too many of me would be like driving <laughs> crazy and he's patient and, um, puts up with our antics and it's great. It's per, it's a perfect, um, a culmination of, of, uh personality types i think who picked the name for the band so that's a funny story too just because um so so black pontiac was the first idea that we came up with when we were mm -hmm. trying to think of a band name he's like because mac used to drive a, a 2003 like sunfire around you know we just hop in the back and drive around and we were like no no man we can do better than that come on come on right and so we spent a couple of days and we had this big like you know five page long google doc full of you know, like 100 200 names and then we realized we actually couldn't do any better than that and <laughs> once you start saying it more it 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 sounds better right yeah it just makes more sense uh i just as with like naming anything i guess but i'm glad that we stuck with that one and not i don't know 
sweet tooth or something. <laughs> hey, don't give that one away because somebody's going to grab it or it's already been grabbed. I can guarantee yeah. you that. Now, when did you guys actually get together? What year was it when you guys got together? Oh, that would have been... We're using that 2021. It would have been like 2018. 18. Okay. So here you guys are. Basically, this is the birth. You guys are getting your gel going. Everything's happening. Bam. You get the world's you know, worst pandemic to happen. How did that affect the momentum of the group? So, you know, we we were, uh, there were talks of a tour uh, happening kind of uh, around that time period. Obviously, that. Uh, didn't come to fruition, but um, it was actually, we found later it ended up being a blessing in disguise just in that we ended up, um, we were like, okay, we have a bunch of free time now. Let's, let's record an album. Let's just do it. Let's take mm -hmm. all the songs that we have and just put them together into this 30 minute thing. And we were able to, because we didn't have the pressure of having to play live, you know, instead of practicing, we were just constantly focusing on the creative aspect uh, of recording, of tracking. You know, we just went in there with our guy, Matt DiPomponio at, um, at Echo Plant Studios, and we just went in and did it with totally, with just like the mindset of like, okay, we're going to go in here and we're going to, whatever happens is going to happen, but our mind, we're here. We're here. We're present. It's happening right now. And I think that shows in Sorry, go ahead. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Sorry, I interrupted no, you. Just no, in 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 the product that we're hoping to share with everybody. Okay, so here's the thing, though, and I've talked to a lot of artists for the last last year and a half. What is the recording process like, especially because depending on what region of uh, of the country you're in, one moment you're open, next minute you're not open. Uh, you can go into a studio and you're allowed a certain amount of people. Yeah, you can't go to a studio, but then you're only allowed one person. Like, mm -hmm. how did that work? Was it more home recordings, Zoom involved? How did that all come together? You know, honestly, in the time that we had, it was the total process of the album was maybe, it took maybe about two months, maybe. Mm -hmm. And I think in that time, there were certain restrictions here in bc had eased up a little bit so you know it was five of us in kind of a generally generally pretty decently sized studio control room and masks on at all times of course contact tracing and that seemed to work out pretty well thankfully well thankfully for us it worked out yeah. so we could get the music too yeah what man. was the vibe musically that you guys were putting together because we are going to talk about the new single in a second but in the whole though where were you guys going with all of this i've used the word fun over and over again but for you though what was this collection like because this is in a lot of ways our introduction to black cadillac our uh, black, black uh, pontiac sorry um, black no, pontiac all good all good um you know, we didn't go into this album with a whole lot of intention behind it. We just said, okay, we're going to go in. These are the songs we have. This is, um, this is what we have. This is, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go in and see what happens. We're just gonna, mm -hmm. whatever happens is going to happen. And, you know, I know we, we've used the F word a lot of times in this uh, interview by now, I think, but, um, I think, you know, one of the things our producer said to us was, I want to show everyone that you guys, we want to show everyone that you guys had fun doing this. Yeah. That you guys, and it's stylistically, it's pretty all over the place. It's, I think, you know, Island Honey exists on one spectrum of whatever that album contains. And I don't want to give too much away. I just, just know that, you know, there's a whole other side that we haven't really shown the world yet there's been a lot of pop oriented kind of singles but there are other things that we really like doing and we're really excited to share and i'm curious as to what the reception of that might be well we can get something going because we got a single out what's the new single called and what is it about please the single is called island honey it was <sighs> hmm. how do i put it you know when mac brought the chord progression to uh to our, our jam time or to our rehearsal or whatever 
all the only the only kind of I had this image of you know driving down a west coast highway with the wind in your hair while the sun's going down uh-huh. and that was the guiding visual that led me to to this story about two stupid young people just kind of making a break for it and just going and not thinking about the destination it's just let's get out of here and i think that idea of escape was subconsciously because we'd all been sitting in our rooms for two, two months or three months or however long it was so that uh and and i guess i, I guess i just wanted to remind people that that, that there's there will be an end you know it's kind of funny because my thinking was almost the same thing but i'm thinking driving through this sort of fantasy world of neon lights and animation and all these other crazy things going on because yeah. like i said the song is it's it's just like it's a ride it it yeah. definitely is a ride on that man yeah. and i love that um we talked about album when do we think that is going to be happening or ha- what, what are we looking at here? Are we still depending upon, of course, what happens with the pandemic? Well, um, I think we probably got one more single coming. Mm-hmm. And then album coming early 2022. Cool. This is what we're looking at. Yeah. So we're, we're going to so we're gonna start the year off right, is what you're saying. Damn right. Love it. Yeah, yeah. In the meantime, as you know, we're heading into 2022. Can't believe that. Four twos on that one. <laughs> um, are there going to be shows? Will there be virtual or live? You know, we we had we recently had a, a free outdoor show at Victory Square here in Vancouver um, just a couple weekends ago, mm-hmm. which I think went really well. It was really good to, to, you know, have people come out and see everybody again and play with some local acts we're really fond of i'm i'm not entirely sure what how that's going to continue as the weather kind of worsens um it really just depends on how uh dr bonnie here in uh, bc decides what the uh, the mandate's going to be moving forward right yeah yeah well let's cross fingers not just for vancouver but across canada and the rest of the of world too you know, let's all, you know, work together and make sure that we can get out there and have a great time safely, too. Um, you know, like I said, man, your, your band, the music, everything infectious. What words can you give an encouragement for us as we're dealing with this fourth wave and people, you know, people are still, you know, in that rut. And like I said, man, you guys got some great vibes going on. How can you pass the vibes to everybody else, not just through music, but what words can you have for us? I just, I, I'd say, you know, whatever, whatever is going through, whatever turmoil is going through you right now, I think more than ever, put, p- articulate it, put it into art somehow, put it into your art somehow, articulate it somehow, get it out into the world, share what you're feeling, everybody else is feeling it too, now is the time, right, because it, you're not always going to feel that way, just, you know, that's, that's the way I see it, right, like, it's, it's not, it, it will get better. I, I always go into everything I have with that mindset. And, you know, that isn't always easy. And I know some people might be, well, that's, that's easy for you to say. But yeah, I just, that's all. What else can I do, right? What else can we do except hope? Absolutely. Man, look, this has been a blast. Thank you so much for the interview. Great music. Looking forward to the album. Hopefully in 2022 we can talk about the new album and – If things are going right, man, maybe we can talk about tour and hopefully you guys can come to Toronto or the rest of Ontario because we'd love to have you guys here. That'd be amazing, man. I had, I've had a blast. This is great. Like I'd love to talk to you about the album or talk to you about anything again. Ah, Fantastic. No, man, it's been great. Thank you so much for the interview and please say hello to the rest of the guys for me. Of course. We'll do. You have a good one, Rudy.